today we're gonna make ancient Greek vases. Now, these are some examples of some finished ones. So you can see there's different sized vases that they would have, and I know this one's hard to see because the video is wide, not tall. But what we're gonna do to start with, you are going to decide what shape you want your vase to be. Now, I do have a bunch of patterns in the classroom that you can use. So that I just picked the ones that were from these, but you can also just draw your own vase from the slides that we were shown, or if you have another idea, that is perfectly fine. But I do have two sizes of paper and you have to pick your vase and then you have to decide which one it's gonna fit on. It obviously is not gonna fit on this one, but there are some that are long and skinny that will fit on that one. So it's up to you. Once you have your decision, you can put this down and you are going to just put your hand in the middle and trace around the edge. When I am tracing, I always try to hold my pencil straight up and down so it doesn't push against it, but whatever works for you is fine by me. If you really have trouble, you can have a friend hold it while you draw it. If you're just drawing on your own, that's great too. If you're drawing on your own, just make sure it's big that you can fit at least your hand in it. Okay, and when you're done, we are gonna pick a warm color to use. So I have my crayons here. So we've talked the color wheel. What's the warm side of the color wheel? So I'm gonna hold up a couple crayons. You say if it's warm or cool. Blue. Cool color. What about red? Warm color, yes, so we can put it on this side. Let me see, what are some other warm colors. So we have red, ooh, orange. I have several different shades. Are those the same? Yep, of orange. Red orange works too. Let me see green. Now, yellows are good though. Let me see if I can find some yellows. These are good, so kind of a gold one, more just a plain yellow. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Also, if you want to, I don't think I have any, but if you want to do tan, tan would be okay with this project too. So I'm going to use, I think I'm gonna use this medium orange. Now it's almost down to the paper, so I'm gonna rip a little bit of paper off. Now your goal is to color this entire vase with this crayon. You are gonna have big muscles when you're done. Okay, it's gonna take, you don't wanna draw lightly or color lightly like this. You want to really press down and you wanna get it covered so you have no, I usually say white spots, but I guess it's kind of a manila paper, so no manila colored spots. But when I say white spots, you know what I mean. You are gonna color this whole paper. We're gonna cut this out, so do not worry if you go over your lines, that does not matter. Okay, you're just gonna keep coloring, coloring, until you get this whole thing. The goal really is to get the wax of the crayon onto the paper. So, because the paint, when we do that, will not stick to the wax of the paper. But if you have it light, or if you have a lot of spots, the black will definitely stick. So you're gonna keep coloring, coloring. I'm gonna stop the video, and when I turn it back on, it's gonna be done magically. No, not really. I'll be right back. Okay, I am done coloring. I want you to see how much crayon I used. That is perfectly okay. You're gonna use a lot of crayon, I'll admit. I had to take a couple breaks and shake my arms and then get back to work. When you're done coloring, I want you to have someone at your table, another student, look at this and see if you have any white spots. If they've approved it and said, yes, good to go, then I want you to bring it to me and show me. Oh, right now, before we do anything else, let's flip our papers over, make sure we have our name and class. First name, last name, and your class. Okay, now we are going to cut it out. So I'm gonna take my scissors and go around the edge. Now, I already started in this one, but pretend like I get all the way around. The problem is gonna be these right in here. If yours has handles, I'm gonna teach you a trick. I might've taught you this before, but we'll see. Where you bend it a little bit and you cut a slit where the bend is. And then you can put your scissors in there and then you can cut this around. That is the best way to do it. Some people say, oh, I'll just take and stab my scissors through. Well, that is a good way to make yourself bleed. We do not want blood in the art room, so do not stab the scissors through. Try the bending technique, and then cut the whole thing out. I'm gonna stop the video, and when it's back on, it'll be all cut out. Oh. 
Okay, it is all cut out. Now you're gonna go to the painting station and you're gonna paint this entire thing. You're gonna have a piece of paper underneath it. You're gonna dip your brush in and you're gonna go back and forth. And we have the paper underneath because we'll get it all over the table. We wanna get right to the edge. So you're gonna go all one direction, back and forth this way. Then when we get this part done, we'll go the other direction. You would get it on thick, but not so thick that it has big chunks on it. So if I see that like dripped right there, I'm gonna wipe that, just smooth it out a little bit. If we get too thick of paint, it can crack off. Now you will see little lines in there right now, and that's okay. When we're done, I'm actually gonna take, and now I'm gonna add a second layer going the other direction to try to get any of those little spots that we see. Keeping it nice and smooth. So we get the whole thing done. And if you do have any lines in yours that are left, remember it's supposed to look like an ancient vase. Well, we've dug it up in the ground, it might have a few scratch marks on. So when you're done, I want you to leave it on the paper and take it over to the drying rack. Now that our paint has dried, we are ready to start doing our scratch board. So in your sketchbook or on a separate piece of paper, you're going to draw a design. Now I have a design, it's for different shaped vase, but I'm gonna show it to you. So my idea was the Olympics. So since I started in ancient Greek times, you could do a modern day version of the Olympics. And that's what I did here because it has like volleyball and things like that in there. I did add an old fashioned, um, shoe. This is Hermes shoe, one of, I believe the Greek gods. So, and then in the extra space, you add some patterns. So you could do modern day version if you want to, that is perfectly fine. Or you can do one that was like, it was from ancient Greece. And it's kind of nice because when it has these little scratches, it doesn't really matter because it's an old vase, but we have the warriors here. We have Poseidon's trident we have lightning bolts that represents zeus and again we have filler patterns too so we have something that's challenging in it but then there is okay to have some just patterns so we're going to use these little stylists to do our design we always have our sketch first because once you start making your designs you really can't erase because it's going to scratch paint off so i'm going to take and i'm just going to do like a pattern or design across here so i'm going to do little lines going across okay and sometimes when like the more came off here that might mean I need to change my design a little bit but my idea is that I do this and then I make a thicker area too because we don't want to have everything just a single line because it's not gonna show up that great okay once I have this part done if I want to make a second line that goes down like this, I could do this all the way across if I wanted to. This little center one's gonna be kind of small. And then if I wanted to, I could take and I could scratch all of this off to get some big orange areas. So it would look like this. I really love this. This is from a student that moved away. So I have this as an example. So when we get this, we're gonna get all these little crumb things. Instead of blowing, we're gonna tap them up towards the top and then just keep going. Okay, and it might be that some areas you can't get everything out because maybe you didn't have enough crayon underneath. That's okay, but I'm gonna keep going until I get most of it out. This is gonna take a little bit of time and patience, but you can do it. So have fun.